Konnichiwa! Today we will show you one of the sharpest weapons from the MSI laptop artillery. This is the Katana GF66, made in collaboration with the famous illustrator Nagano Tsuyoshi. But it's not just art, so bear with us, there is a lot to cover. Dimension-wise, the laptop is pretty compact. Yes, it is 24.9 mm thick, which is a bit over the average for its class, but it's definitely not too heavy with a weight of 2.25 kilos. And although the lid is a bit flexy, the base is really sturdy, which means that MSI has made an effort to strengthen the structure on the inside. The keyboard itself features a red backlight and a numpad. Unfortunately, we found the feedback to be a bit soft, and the touchpad is very small for a 2022 laptop. On the bright side, it has accurate tracking and pretty fast response. You get a total of 4 USB ports, 3 of which are full-size Type-A and one of the compact and modern Type-C. All of them are 3.2 Gen 1 with transfer capability of 5 gigabits per second except for one of the full-size Type A's, which is version 2.0 and is suitable for peripherals. We also see an audio jack, LAN port and HDMI 2.0 supporting 4K external monitors with a 60Hz refresh rate. Ok, let's check what's on the inside. The upgrade options here are pretty good. You get two SATM slots for up to 64GB of DDR4 RAM working in dual-channel mode. Storage-wise, you get two M.2 PCIe X4 slots that support Gen 4 drives. And a million heat pipes, but we'll get back to this in a minute. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome! You can choose between two display variants, and they both are Full HD IPS. The difference is in the refresh rate. One of them is 144Hz and the other is 240Hz. We bought the cheaper one, since it should be more than fast enough for fluent gaming. If you have tried panels faster than 144Hz, please leave a comment to tell us whether you can see the difference. Like every other IPS panel, this 144Hz screen has comfortable viewing angles. However, it has really low maximum brightness, just 235 nits. On the other hand, the contrast is very good. The roller coaster keeps going. The color coverage is very low, just 53% of the sRGB gamut, leading to inaccurate colors that can be partially fixed with our design and gaming profile. Our last test is for harmful PWM and the good news here is that Katana's display doesn't pulsate at any brightness level. CPU-wise, you have a choice between Core i5-12500H, Core i7-12650H and Core i7-12700H. Keep in mind that the first two processors are almost identical while the 12700H is about 20% faster. Things are more interesting on the GPU front, where we found configurations with up to 105W RTX 3070 Ti. Our configuration is equipped with the most powerful video card. Well, it turned out that it's not that powerful, unfortunately. We got 77 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider on Ultra settings. But if you follow our Benchmarks channel and if you don't, hit the pause button and go subscribe to it, please, you already know that we should expect 90 FPS from the same card, same game, same settings. Then why is this katana so dull? That's 17% difference! Unfortunately, MSI has chosen to be lenient in order to keep the temperatures low. At first, we were puzzled by their decision, but as it happens, they knew something we didn't. The chassis absorbs a very unhealthy portion of the heat, which makes the keyboard really warm. 
Ultimately, MSI thought it was clever to take its budget Katana GF66, show off the latest and greatest from Intel and NVIDIA inside, and call it a bargain laptop. Yeah, no. In particular, the RTX 3070 Ti option is really underpowered, and the major reason for that is the cooling. Of course, you could choose a configuration with RTX 3050 Ti and you won't have such issues. However, as a true budget notebook, this one had a bit too many sacrifices. If you want to see more tests and details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.